Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the important notes for Seven Engineering students. So let's come to discuss one by one. The first point is that the minimum that the minimum one inch spacing one inch spacing between the bars between the bars bars and beam should be provided according to the ACI American Concrete Institute it means minimum one inch spacing between bars and beam should be provided it it says about the longitudinal bars for example if this is a beam if this is the beam so when we place the bar so it may be in horizontal or it may be in vertical so this distance between the bars or this distance between the bars should be equal to the minimum of one inch. This distance should always be equal to the minimum of one inch. The distance between the two bars should be equal to minimum of one inch according to the ACI codes. Now coming to the second point, the maximum spacing of stirrups, the maximum spacing for stirrups and beams is allowed equal to 12 inches. The maximum spacing for stirrups and beams allowed to be 12 inches. There should be no maximum spacing uh, other than the 12 inches. It means that we should not provide the stirrups more than 12 inches spacing. For example, if this is a beam, if this is a beam, and we provide the stirrups in this direction throughout the length of the beam so the distance between these two stirrups should mean should be maximum of 12 inches it should not be greater than 12 inches it should be less than 12 inches it may be 9 inches it may be 8 inches but the maximum spacing is 12 inches we should not provide the spacing of stirrups more than 12 inches this is a requirement for the beams now coming to the third prop, third point, third point is for number three to number ten. For number three to number ten, we should provide the uh, tie bar as number three bar, number three tie bar. And for number eleven and onwards, eleven and onwards, what we should provide? We should provide number four bar is a tie bar. It means if this is a beam and this is a beam and there is a longitudinal bars here and here it's mentioned that from number three to number ten bars, if these are number three and number two, ten number ten bars, any bar used, so we should provide the stirrups or the tie bars number three. But if this longitudinal bars exceeds the limit of number 10 it exceeds the number 11 or onwards number 12 and number 13 so we should place these tie bars as number 4 bars this is the ACI requirements American Concrete Institute requirements for the longitudinal bars we should provide the tie bar but for number 3 to number 10 we should provide number 3 bar and number 11 and onwards we should provide number 4 bar. Now coming to the fourth point, the clear cover, the clear cover, clear cover for the beams, clear cover for beams and column and column should be provided of minimum of 1.5 inches and they are usually practiced and we place the cover of 1.5 in case of beams and columns for slabs we have 0.75 inches and for footing for footing we have 3 inches there is a clear cover so that the steel is covered uh, inside the concrete for example this is the in a beam so these are the reinforcement so the cover clear cover means the distance by which it is covered inside in the concrete, the reinforcement, so we call this is the cover distance. 
and this cover should be 1.5 inches in case of the beams and columns, 0.75 inches in case of slab and for footing we should provide the 3 inches. Now coming to the uh, last point, fifth point, that the uh, minimum thickness of the footing, minimum, minimum thickness, minimum thickness of footing should be 12 inches. It should not be less than the 12 inches. The minimum thickness of footing should be 12 inches. It should be more than the 12, but it should not be less than the 12 inches according to the ACI. These are all uh, important notes which are related to the ACI code, American Concrete Institute. So this, these were all the important notes. I will upload more videos about other important notes. So don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.